Buckner with the Elon women playing earlier. The Niners playing at 8 o'clock on Monday. The tip is up. The Niners control it, and the game is underway. Charlotte going from right to left. Davis brings it across the half-court line. Hand-to-man defense played by the Wolves. Niners get it down low to Washington. Baseline left. Jump shot is off the rim. No good. Van Hook fighting for the rebound. It's on the floor, and coming away with it is Gerald Evans, the 5-5 point guard. He'll race up ahead. Lost the dribble. Gets it back. Out top it goes now. And a walk. A traveling violation. D.J. Copeland shuffling his feet. And they turn the ball over to the 49ers. We heard that this is going to be one of the points of emphasis for the officials this year, really watching that travel call, especially when guys pump fake and try to go to the basket. Niners get it back on the first Newberry turnover today. The crowd's still coming into Halton Arena. A lot of students here today, which is great to see with his home opener. Out top of the basketball is Davis. Right-handed dribble goes right down the lane, kicks it in the corner. Oh, boys, you three ball. Back rim, no good. Rebound tipped out of control by Newberry. Good look from Bo in the corner. Nice drive and kick by John Davis. Out top of the ball is Lang. Marshall Lang dribbles towards the right side behind the arc, guarded by Davis. Dribble drive into the paint, spins. Floater gets the roll, 2-0 Newberry. The Wolves strike first. Snyder's quick to get it in bounds. They bring it up the floor. Davis has it knocked away, gets it back in the half-court line in the front court, gets rid of it over to White. Andrian pulling up for three. That's around the rim and no good. Rebound to Evans for Newberry. This Newberry team scrappy on the defensive end. Starting to trap the Niners, get after them early. Niners a little slow out of the gates here tonight. Lang down low, gets it back out top. Evans with a basketball calling out of play. 16 to shoot, plenty of time. Dribbles left at the elbow. Gets it back outside to Lang on the outside left. Lang dribble drive into the paint, gives it up on the wing. Bounce pass left. Shot clock at six. Elbow jump shot is up and short. Missed by Valentine who came in the game. And on the rebound, there's going to be a whistle. And this is going to go on Newberry. And now five players come off the bench for Newberry. And Coach Davis does this. He'll substitute five at a time. It's like <laughs> hockey. A whole new line comes in the game. Wholesale substitutions. But when you play the way they play, you need a breather. Now it was Ashley on the 49ers. And it's going to be Newberry basketball. And Newberry puts it in play, gets it down low. Fall away jump shot now. A three falling away. Knocked down by Quaman Burton. And it's now 5 nothing Newberry early on. It's a good test for the Niners early, Matt. The way Newberry plays, really, it's going to make them be disciplined on the defensive end. Two minutes into the game. White in the corner for three. Good. In the right corner, Adrian White knocking down his first shot of the season. Don't want to leave that guy open too often. Proved last season an incredible shooter. Niners had three players last year score 30 or more in a game. Now, one of them is not here anymore, Curran Scott, as he transferred back to be closer to home in Tulsa. Now out top of the basketball is Nielsen, drives towards the right elbow, and it's going to be blocked away as he was falling away on the jump shot, but the Wolves get it back, and now a traveling violation. G.J. DJ Copeland is calling for his second walk. A great defensive possession there by the Niners. Braxton O'Boise and John Davis really did a good job collapsing against the penetration of Newberry. Davis puts it in play now to Van Hook, who gets it right back on the right side, still in the backcourt. Back to John Davis. He's across the timeline with a right-handed dribble. Crosses over, throws it left over to Boise. Jump shot for three is in and out. Rebound kept alive by Anthony Van Hook in the paint. Puts it up. There's going to be a whistle and a foul. It's going to be on Newberry on Sikander Nielsen. And here we go again, Matt. Wholesale substitutions. Wow. <laughs> Those guys didn't have time to sit down on the bench. They're right back in the game. Oh, man, they did not break a sweat. He has substituted 15 players already. We haven't played three minutes. <laughs> I've never seen anything like that. Newberry on top, 5-3. Niners put the ball in play. Washington on the right side dribbles it out. Looking for help now as he picks the dribble up. He's being guarded by Sacker. Gives it up down the baseline. Drive by Van Hook. He finds an open player. Three-pointer good by Andrian White this time from the left corner. A dub picking up right where he left off last season. Puts the Niners up 6-5, but that doesn't last. A three-pointer by Marshall Lang is good. It's now 8-6. We're going to see a lot of that tonight. Guys just jacking up some threes. White again, right corner, three ball. He got another one. Three of them for Andrian White. This guy is impressive. I'll tell you what, he can really shoot the basketball. Lang, he'll stop and pop a 27-footer straight away. No good. Rebound is out of bounds. Last touch by Mason Spies of Newberry. The Niners get it back with 16-39 to play. In this first half, the Niners on top, 9-8. And again, wholesale for a player. Uh, you've got to leave them in there for at least a few minutes. Let them get their feet wet. Oh, boys, he finds White again. They left him open. This time his shot is short. Rebound pulled down by Newberry. And a tie-up as Anthony Van Hook got his hands on the ball. Burton kind of held the ball out in front of him, which allowed Van Hook to tie him up. But the arrow gives possession back over to Newberry. Good heads-up play there by Van Hook. We've seen him now two or three possessions cause havoc on the defensive boards. 
Wayne Newberry plays remind you a lot of the old Loyola Marymount teams of the 80s. Here's a three knocked down from the left corner, and that puts Newberry back on top, 11 to 9. Niners turn the ball over. Newberry gets it back. Layup missed from behind by Copeland as uh, he was had it partially blocked from behind, I think, but he got the shot off at the bottom of the rim. Newberry keeps control of it. And here's a floating shot put up, and it's no good. That one missed by Burton. Niners grabbed the rebound. Hudson Price now in the game for the first time. As a Niner gets the ball left side, jump shot is no good. Rebound Burton for Newberry. Burton's going to push it ahead. He'll leave it for Copeland. Burton gets it back on the right wing. Nice pass to Copeland for a layup. And now Newberry's on top 13-9. to Matt, this Newberry team moves the ball unbelievably well, puts a ton of pressure on the defense. The way they move and penetrate, Charlotte really going to have to defend. Very unselfish basketball team is Newberry. Always looking for the open guy and the extra pass as well. Oh, boys, you with the ball front court out top, seeing some pressure, looking inside, trying to find Price, but the ball is knocked away and stolen by Newberry. The Wolves have the ball leading by four, and now a foul on Anthony Van Hook as Newberry was trying to take it to the rim, and that was James Stepp who had a step on the Niners, and he's going to go to the free throw line for Kepler. It's 13 to 9, and going to the free throw line is James Stepp. A junior from Greensboro out of Ragsdale High School. He's going to take a couple of shots here. Joby, what are the Niners shooting? I didn't get that uh, stat sheet passed along. To so, see, we're three from nine from the two, three for seven. So, just 33% so far from two points and 42.9. Really, the threes keeping us in the game thus far. But Newberry, 75% from behind the arc, three out of four. Now, both free throws missed by Step. The second one actually hit the rim and then. It got pinned between the rim and the backboard. You won't see that very often. Sometimes you see a ball get pinned, but not after it hits the rim. Yeah, very hard to do that. <laughs> Niners get the ball, and in the game now for the first time is Quinton Jackson, freshman on a carry, North Carolina. Jackson on the right side, drives, gets low. Bank shot is good. That was a tough one in traffic for the freshman. Well, one shot and attempt and one make for Quinton Jackson right out of the gate. And quickly down the floor, Newberry got good position under the basket. Xavier Hill foul from behind. He's going to go to the free throw line. Newberry leads 13 to 11. 14 51 to play in this first half. You know Matt uh, a team that's small like Newberry you'd love to see Charlotte try to pound the ball inside but one of the things Newberry does well the junk defenses they play they don't allow you to set up your offense and really pound the ball inside so it makes it difficult. They really lure you into playing their style of basketball. First shot is good by Hill. Now one more. 14 to 11, Newberry. Now the second one off the front of the rim and no good. Rebound, Washington just came back in the game for the 49ers. Niners in the front court, Jackson finds White. Now Price attacking the basket. He's going to score and he's fouled. Hudson Price's first bucket as a 49er. Nice strong drive of the basket there by Hudson Price. And Charlotte will have opportunities to attack the basket off of the Newberry pressure. Now Price going to the line for the and one. Right now the Niners trail by one with 14.37 to play in the first half. And the junior knocking down the free throw, of course, his dad, one of the all-time great free throw shooters in NBA history. And Hudson ties this game at 14 apiece. And the front court, Marshall laying back in the game as he's running the offense, hands it off on the right wing. Dribble drive all the way to the bucket. Nice, nice drive by Valentine. He finishes the right-handed layup. Great crossover penetration by Valentine to get all the way to the basket. Well, Price thought about a three, gives it up. Davis has it. He'll attack on the right wing. And as he gets down low, he's going to be hit in the lane. He's going to go to the free throw line for a couple of shots. Niners down two, 16 to 14. So Davis to the line for the first time. And this one tonight, 74% free throw shooter last season as a freshman. JB, and the shot is good. It really improved his shooting over the course of the season. We saw his perimeter jump shot, uh, the confidence grow, and he's a guy who really worked in the offseason. Free throws, love to see him up around that 80% mark his sophomore season. And the second one is good. Tie game at 16 apiece. Lang on the front court throws it back outside to Evans. The 5-5 point guard attacks, gets it out of the wing over to Valentine. Back out to Lang out top. Guarded by O'Boise, tries to take him off the bounce. Good defense by Bo. Lang missed the shot. Got the rebound, but he was standing out of bounds. So the Niners get possession back in a tie game at 16 apiece. Braxton O'Boise doing an excellent job containing penetration. 
Now the Wolves putting some pressure on the Niners. They get it inbounds to Davis under the basket. He'll bring it up the right side. Lost the dribble, lost his footing, gives the ball up, and here comes the Wolves the other way, and a block shot by Hudson Price. Getting the ball back, Hill down low. Bounce pass out to Valentine on the right side. Out to Evans, out top. Evans off the bounce, gives it back to Valentine. Jump shot blocked by Jackson of the Niners, and Washington comes away with it. Now to Price up ahead of Davis, front court near side. Davis, he'll attack, lob, layup, good. That's Quentin Jackson, the beneficiary of that lob pass. That's a combo Niner fans are going to get accustomed to seeing a lot of the season. Jackson and Davis. And now the Niners lead by a deuce, 18 to 16. Evans attacks on Jackson, gets it low, and gives it up outside to Valentine. Pass out top into the backcourt. That's a backcourt violation touched by Jamal Satisfield before the Niners' J.C. Washington got there. 13.04 to go in the half. The Niners up 18 to 16. I'm curious if Coach Davis saw these substitutions, Matt, if he just has it <laughs> timed that they're going to go in and because uh, it would be a lot to keep up with. Or he's got one assistant. That's his sole job, <laughs> doing substitutions. It's almost at every dead ball there's a change. Well, if you're the official scorer on the sidelines, it's tough to keep up with it for sure. Or the play-by-play -play guy. <laughs> <laughs> Jackson missing a three. Rebound underneath by Washington. The stick back is no good. And now the Wolves corral the loose ball. Up the floor, Step has it on the right side. Bounce pass, nice pass down low. And Secor finishing at that left block. That's a nice uh, in-the-lane bounce pass right there by James Step. Yeah, just too easy there for the Niners defense. Game tied at 18, 12.27 to play in the opening half here at Halton Arena. The season opener, Washington's pass is too tall for Hudson Price at the bottom of the backboard station playing. Here comes Newberry the other way. Gibson throws it back outside to Step. Step puts it on the floor, attacks out of the right corner. Nielsen for three, and the kid from Denmark hits a triple, and now the Wolves lead 21-18. Another good penetration and kick by Newberry. You've got to be able to keep the ball in front of you, not force too much help, it leaves those open three-pointers. And now a foul called on Gibson, Luke Gibson of Newberry, and that's going to bring us to the end of 12, meeting Niners right now. Trail 21-18, but it's early. Just under 12 minutes to play in this first half. The Niners have the basketball. Quinton Jackson on the right side gets it to Davis behind the arc on the left. Davis crossing over. Jump shot is short off the side of the rim. And pulled out by Newberry. Here come the Wolves the other way. And in the front court getting low as Nielsen throws it back out top. Burton has the basketball. Goes left. Under the basket. Cut off by Davis. Back to Gibson on the left wing. 15 to shoot. Gibson going baseline. Stepped out of bounds as he was being guarded all the way on that end line by Braxton O'Boise. A little bit of contact, but no whistle with the with the foul. They said he just stepped out of bounds. Good no call and good job by O'Boise of showing the official his hands, keeping him back, and forced the turnover. Now the Niners have the basketball down three. O'Boise, front court, left side, guarded by Gibson, pulls up with a three, and that's no good. And again, the Wolves with the rebound. The Niners have struggled with their shooting percentage here in the first half down three. A couple quick shots the last two possessions by Charlotte. Shots they can really get at any point in time throughout a possession. Burton gives it up. Now Nielsen, he'll attack, get low under the basket, throwing it back out top. Burton with the ball, a foul called on the 49ers. This will be a blocking foul on John Davis. So it's going to be Newberry basketball on the end line tell you as a former player these are the type teams that are really difficult to play against if you're Charlotte defensively it's tough to have to get down in a defensive stance and guard penetration each and every possession but that's what Newberry's forcing them to do now it's gonna be James Stepp with the inbounds pass baseline right under his own basket being guarded by Price gets it inbounds Nielsen right corner guarded by Davis trying to take him on the baseline Davis stays with him Back out to step out top. Drives left, cut off by Price. Jump shot, no good. Long rebound. Gibson saves it on the end line, then steps on the end line and turns it over. Charlie going to have to box out, not give Newberry a small team, but a quick team to the ball. Second shot opportunities. Now the Niners bringing it up the floor. They trail 21 18. Quentin Jackson picks his dribble up. Now to Washington, 20 to shoot. Davis on the left side. Davis gives it up on the baseline to Washington. They find White open, and he makes his fourth three-pointer of the night. This one from the right wing. And credit J.C. Washington for that three by a dub. What a great cross-court pass. Burton, he answers with a right elbow jump shot, and Newberry's back on top, 23-21. to 21. Newberry shooting 47% in this first half. 
Davis to the front court with the uh, basketball of the Niners. They trail by two midway through the first half. Davis out top of the ball once again, guarded by Burton. Man-to-man -man defense. And now a steal as Davis has his pocket picked. Burton stripping the ball away. Burton gives it up to Step. now gets it back at the left elbow. Bounce pass down low. And this is Secor spinning and laying it up and in from that left block. And now Newberry, who's been the aggressor really right now, leads by four. And just too easy there. Secor, great move in the interior, but Washington's got to resist better in the low post. Quentin Jackson outside right with the basketball of the Niners. Dribble drive, finds an open. Andrian White again, three and good. And White has 15 here in the first half. It's been the Andrian White show for the 49ers thus far. And if not for White, I'll tell you what, Charlotte would be in trouble. Now Jackson left his feet. Burton goes around him, and now a foul committed by the 49ers. This one's on Quentin Jackson. Now Jackson commits the personal foul. And now again, five new players coming into the game for Coach Davis of Newberry. And Evans will inbound, baseline right. 9-12 to go first half, Newberry leads 25-24. Niners steal the inbounds. And now here comes Charlotte, Jackson up the floor all the way to the basket, missed the shot. Little scoop move with his left hand and Newberry wants to run the other way. Evans gives it up to Spies on the left side. He'll drive to the baseline, throw it back out top. It's taken away by Andrean White. One-on-one -on -one down to the bucket. Spins, lost the dribble. And, oh, boy, is he fighting for the loose ball. It's a tie-up, and the arrow gives possession back to the 49ers. Looked like Andrean White had an opportunity to go straight up, draw the contact and finish there on the fast break, but chose to spin, and the smaller guards for Newberry right on the basketball if he put it down. What's a little surprising of Newberry's 19 shots, they've only taken six threes. They've made four of them. Niners, 19 shots. They've taken 11 threes. They've made five of them, all by Andrian White. Davis almost lost the basketball, and actually he did. He stepped on the end line. Pass by Washington led him too much, and he couldn't keep the ball on the floor. Just a little too impatient, frenetic on the offensive end for the Niners, but you can credit Newberry's defensive intensity and aggressiveness as the cause of that problem. Six first-half turnovers committed by the 49ers. Valentine driving on Price, big size advantage of Price, and Valentine loses the basketball. Washington up ahead for the 49ers to White. He's open for three, and this one's off the rim and over the backboard, and back over to Newberry. Niners now 8 of 20, shooting the basketball here in the first half, 8-21 to play in the half, and Newberry leads 25-24. Another good look by Andrew White, and one that he's shown already he can knock down on a consistent basis. Evans, right side, spinning, getting low, getting it back outside now to Spies. Spies in the paint to Valentine. Left side, three ball, no good. Rebound, Charlotte White with the rebound for the 49ers. He'll bring it up the floor himself. Leaves it now for Jackson. Back out to Washington to the foul line. Over to White again out top between the circles. White finds Price for three off the rim, no good in the right corner. Rebound, Jackson has it down low. Jackson finds Washington, one dribble up off the glass, no good. Got his own rebound, puts it up, scores, and a foul committed by Newberry. That time Washington taking advantage of a size advantage in the post and has an and one opportunity. One of the few times we've seen Charlotte score in the paint in this ball game. Good to see them score around the basket. Nice, strong finish by Washington. Niners back with the and one as he was fouled making a basket. By the way, you look at some of the numbers, the Niners have seen Newberry turn the ball over nine times, but the Niners only have six points on those nine, nine turnovers so far. And uh, a glaring stat right now, when you look at the size of Newberry as Washington misses the free throw, the Niners have been out-rebounded 16-10 to 10 so far, Joby. Yeah, now 17-10 to 10 with that last rebound. Newberry just hustling, going after the basketball. Now Burton missing down low, the rebound of Washington for the 49ers. Now the Niners going right to left, bringing in the front court. And Quinton Jackson is stripped from behind by a foul call on Burton, the junior out of Richmond, Virginia for Newberry. It's going to be a one and one coming up for Quentin Jackson. That is foul number seven committed by Newberry. Newberry's not scored in the last two minutes and 20 seconds. And the Niners now back up one. Well, that's actually the sixth foul. The players are lining up on the free throw line, but they've checked it with the scores table, just the sixth foul. So it's going to be Niner ball out of bounds. They get it into Washington, out of Price, outside left. Puts it on the floor, attacks the foul line. Back to Bo, right side three, air ball. Bo is ice cold right now up the floor. 
And a foul committed by Washington of the 49ers. That's the Niners' sixth team foul on the rebounding attempt. Braxton Oboise right now still has not made a shot. And this is the first game of a senior season as uh, he has now missed his first four shots, all threes. A shot that Bo can make, but still one he can get at any point in time. Love to see Charlotte get the ball inside more. Copeland, his pass stolen by Quinton Jackson. Jackson down the floor to the bucket, layup good. And the Niners have a three-point lead with seven minutes to play in the first half. There you see the athleticism of Quinton Jackson. Nice steal and finish at the other end. Burton out top, Niners going to the zone right now. Now Copeland getting it back. And a traveling violation on Copeland, the third one. The third one committed by Copeland here in the first half. Now five more substitutions. I thought for a moment they were going zone, but it was actually still man-to-man. -man. They just spread it out so much. Yeah, trying to pack it in. If you're Charlotte, the defense, you've got to help one another. Newberry really driving the basketball, so it almost looks like a zone. Put two guys uh, to negate the penetration there. 6.47 to play first half. The Niners have the basketball. Quentin Jackson brings it across the timeline, picks his dribble up, finds Oboise. He'll attack left, mid-range jumper off the glass. Good. A whistle and a foul on Newberry and a chance for the end one for Oboise. Maybe that pull up will get Bo going. Sometimes it's just good to see the ball go in the basket. Now the Niners on a 9-0 run the last 248. They now have their biggest lead of five points, 30-25. We're about to see Reed Aubey for the first time as he replaces Washington. Aubey a junior last season, now a senior and a scholarship senior this season as he won a scholarship from Coach Price. And the free throw by Oboise, good, a three-point play. Niners up six now, 31-25. Well-deserved scholarship by Reed Aubey. Indeed, he was terrific last year. And now Lang drags his pivot foot, and he's calling for a traveling violation. He might have slipped a little bit. I'm not sure he wasn't hit also, but a... Traveling violation gives the ball back over to the 49ers. Oh, Boise front court near side, guarded by Lang. Crossover, a drive, finds White. He's open three off the side of the rim, no good. Rebound pulled down by Valentine of Newberry. He brings it up ahead. Front court gets it to Lang out between the circles. Lang dribbles towards the right side, hands it off to Mason Spies. Mason now to the free throw line. Left of the lane, picks his dribble up and hands it off. Now backing the ball back out is Satisfield. They work it to the right side, back over to Lang. As he's guarded by Jackson, dribbles left, the shot clock at 7. Game clock, 6 minutes to play in the first half. Spies has the ball taken away by Quinton Jackson. Here come the Niners, now to Price. Price gives it up now to White. White drives the lane straight to the bucket. Shot is off the side of the backboard, no good. That's your side of the rim and the backboard, no good. And the rebound pulled out by Newberry once again. Lang out top, he'll pull up for 3, and that's good by Lang. Marshall Lang, a freshman from High Point, has made this a 3-point game now. Niners 31 Newberry 28. A little confusion there. No talking on defense. They left the, the ball. You never leave the guy with the ball, and he makes him pay as Hudson Price finishes on the other end. Little and one now for Hudson Price as he was attacking the basket. Mason Spies is guilty of the foul for the Wolves. And now again, five new players coming in the game for Coach Davis from Newberry. Niners up 33-28. And at the line now is Price, who has five points today. He's one of one from the foul line so far. Attention, Niner fans, if you drink alcohol before today's game, don't get behind the wheel. Instead, catch a ride with a sober driver, take a taxi, or use public transit to get home safely. Remember, drivers, if you booze it, you stand to lose a lot. Price misses the free throw. Now the Wolves down the floor. They lose the basketball as Copeland lost it. Here come the Niners the other way. Price picks the dribble up, gets it to Jackson. Now to O'Boise, he swings it left corner, wide open for three. Missed by Andrian White as he's cooled off a little bit. He's made five here in the first half, but he's missed his last three. And now Newberry sat for three. That's a brick in the right wing. Niners grab the rebound. Both teams cooling off. Jackson pushing it. Alley-oop to White, and he passes through his hands. Coming from the left side, out of bounds, back over to Newberry. Both teams look kind of rusty. A little rusty, to be expected. You know, those legs. Well, welcome back to this fast-paced game. Uh, while we're away, Newberry put the ball in play. Three seconds later, they're attacking the rim. And Copeland's going to go to the free throw line and misses the first one as he was fouled by Quentin Jackson, which is Quentin's second foul. 
And the second free throw by Copeland is good right now. 440 left in the half. The Niners have a 33 to 29 lead over Newberry. Jackson has seen a lot of time here in the first half. John Davis on the bench. Oh, Boise out top of the ball. Guarded by Copeland. He'll back it back out. 15 to shoot. Niners up four. And a foul called on Newberry. This is on Sickler Nielsen, the freshman from Copenhagen, Denmark, as he was hand checking Quentin Jackson out top. And that's going to be team foul number nine. So still a one and one here for Jackson. And the first one is up and off the back of the rim. That's no good for the freshman. And the rebound pulled down by Newberry. They're doing a nice job of the glass for a team that certainly is uh, not a big team. Now Hudson Price with a block down low. And the Niners come away with the ball. Price now on the far side with it in the backcourt. Gets it to old Boise. He'll bring it ahead. Boa bounce pass to Jackson. Three ball, the corner, no good. Reed Aubrey, the offensive rebound. Throws it across to the right side of Bo. He'll attack, get low, bank shot, good for Boise. 35-29, Charlotte. Good to see Bo not settle for that three, but attack the rim, get all the way, and ends up with a nice finish. He's made his last two from the floor, and both have been off the dribble, and now has five points. Gibson dribbling out top, bounce pass left over to Burton. He'll get it back out to Gibson. Now to Copeland out top, 10 to shoot. Three and a half to play in the first half. The Niners up six right now. Copeland, right side of the lane, tough shot. Gets it to go off the window and a foul on the 49ers. This might be on Reed Avi. White was also there. It's going to be on Avi. So that's going to take us again to a timeout with 325 left. Okay. Well, while we're away, once again, very quick action. A free throw is made by Copeland. They got the ball back, and Sicklander scored down low. So now it's a one-point game, 35-34. Now the Niners get it low, and a foul on Newberry. Quinton Jackson scoring. I think he may have turned an ankle coming down on a Wolf player under the basket. But Quinton Jackson scores, and the Niners have a 37-34 lead. Well, the pace of this game is just its amazing. And even the timeouts the guys are taking, it seems like as soon as that timeout's over, the ball's in play within a split second. Yeah, back and forth, up and down, and a lot of quick shots. But Newberry doing a good job staying around, hanging in this basketball game. We mentioned against South Carolina how the first half, they really were giving the Gamecocks a, a good game, and we're seeing the same thing happen here this evening. Newberry shooting 48% in the first half, making 13 of 27 shots. Quinton Jackson is at the foul line for one shot. His left calf was maybe cramping up, and as he takes that shot, he can't put any pressure on that, that left leg. He missed the shot. The rebound is tipped and saved on the end line, and Jackson's having a tough time getting down the floor as Newberry brings it up ahead. Valentine with it. Out top to Evans, who's guarded by Jackson, trying to stay with him. Evans gives it up to Lang. Behind the arc on the left, he'll attack it low. Shot blocked away out of bounds by C.J. Washington, and now John Davis is going to check in for Quentin Jackson, who's having a lot of... He's having a tough time putting pressure on that left leg. Yeah, I can't tell if it's his ankle or, or calf, but it looked like he landed on one of the Newberry players on that previous possession when he finished around the rim. John Davis back in the game, 225 to play in this first half, and Newberry keeps possession. The ball blocked by Washington, went out of bounds. Evans bounce pass into the post, gets it back at the top of the key. He's guarded by O'Boise. Now to the right elbow, picks his dribble up, gets it to Lang. Fall away three is an air ball, and it goes out of bounds over to the 49ers with 2.11 to play in the half. The Niners on top, 37 to 34. The Niners shooting 42% of this first half. They're 14 of 33, but it's 29%, 5 of 17 from a three-point land. Got now, a lot of good looks, too, from three. They have. Now Davis all the way to the bucket, going basically coast to coast, able to score in transition. And the Niners build their lead now to 39-34. Shot missed out top on the rebound. Washington, it looked like for a moment he's going to be called for being over the back. They didn't call that initially, but that's what the official was trying to call. And J.C. Washington is being called for an over the back rebounding foul. I think that was the correct call. The Newberry player had position in front of Washington. Smaller player, but used his body well to shield. One for two at the foul line. 
153 left in this first half. And now Hill with the first of the one and one. It is good. Dominoes of UNC Charlotte have stepped up their game. Open for pickup, delivery, and dining until 3 a.m. every day. Yes, dining. Dominoes has a lobby that can seat over 35 guests with free Wi-Fi. Stop in or order a large three-topping for $7.99 all day, every day. Dominoes and Charlotte is a slam dunk. Well, the second foul shot is good by Hill. Niners inbounding. Some pressure in the backcourt put on by Newberry. It's 39-36 right now. The Niners on top, 147 remaining in the first half. Oh, Boise on the right side. Mid-range jump shot, good. Now he's starting to heat up with that mid-range jump shot. He's made his last three shots. Niners back up five. Here's a little hesitation dribble and an attack on the right block by Evans, who gets one up off the glass and in. Evans, smallest player on the floor, but he can really score the basketball. Sometimes he's, because he's so small, tough to guard for a guy like Hudson Price. Now they get it back again. Newberry down three. Hill skips it across the floor to Spies, who gives it up to Valentine. Valentine back to Evans, top of the key. Guarded by Andrian White out there. Trying to work on him. Throws it back out to Lang. Running shot is short. Rebound. Aubi for the 49ers. He'll leave it for Davis, who brings it across the timeline. Left side with the ball under a minute to play in the first half. The Niners lead by three. It was a seven-point lead at halftime for South Carolina last week against Newberry in their exhibition game in Columbia. A three by White. This is no good. So he was hot for a while here the first half from behind the arc, but he has cooled off. And he is now 5 of 13, shooting 5 of 10 from the three-point line. An absolutely wide open looks. I think we're seeing a case of these early season legs here. Last year. Absolutely. And I think uh, that's what, you know, I'm, I'm hopeful we'll see in the second half. Charlotte able to kind of wear down Newberry eventually. But a good early test for the Niners. Spies out top of the basketball. 21 to shoot. He gets to the right block. Throws it back out top. Hill back to Spies in the right corner. Bounce pass back to Hill. And Hill call for a walk. 28.9 seconds remaining. The shot clock is off. And the Niners can hold for the final shot. They lead by three. Graciones had. Well, I thought he came in earlier. He did not. Graciones and Bergong have not played tonight. The big seven footers for the Niners. This is just a game with a pace that doesn't suit their game. So the Niners, as deep as they are, it doesn't really translate tonight. That's right. On the offensive end, being an advantage for Charlotte, but defensively really hard for those seven footers to get down and guard a 6'3 guy on the perimeter. We've seen the size tonight. Here's a charge on John Davis, who attacked right down the middle of the lane, but Valentine takes the charge, so Davis gives the ball back over to Newberry with nine seconds to go. A three could tie the game at halftime, and now Quentin Jackson is coming back in the game, so he's all right. He went out limping with that left ankle or calf, but back on the floor and showing no effects of whatever sent him to the sideline a few moments ago. Yeah, good to see Jackson back in the game. All right, Evans into the front court. Four seconds left. A three by Lang is blocked by Aubie. Lang gets it back. Runner off the glass. No good. It's halftime. Oh, well, Reed Aubie getting out there and block for Quinn Jackson. Now the Niners start the same five here in the second half. It's going to be Newberry basketball to begin the half. And they put it in play. Evans has it. Gets it to Copeland on the right side of the floor. Guarded out there by Washington. Evans gets it back. Right elbow throws it back outside to Valentine. He'll attack it. Low shot. No good. Rebound to Van Hook who missed a lot of time in the first half with two personal fouls early in the half. Niners by three with the ball. Their first second half possession. Going from left to right on the floor here in the second half. Davis on the left wing. Picks his dribble up, draws a double team, finds Van Hook who missed the shot inside. Ball kind of slipped out of his hands going up. Here comes Newberry the other way. Evans slowing things down. The senior from Inglewood, California, spinning on Van Hook in the lane, finds Lang. Now Lang at that left block, reverse layup. Good, tough play in traffic and he gets it to go. And now the Niners lead is just one. Wow, impressive move by Lang. A little sweep behind the back and up and under with a good finish. And now a turnover by John Davis trying to lob one down low. Newberry coming the other way. Evans quick to the bucket, and he finds Mason Spies now to Valentine. Out top it goes. Now a right side jump shot that is short. Missed by Amp Moore, but a rebound by Newberry. Spies for three, and it's good at the top of the key. Mason Spies' his first bucket tonight. And Newberry now leads 43-41. Well, there's one of those hustle plays by Evans coming behind Washington, stealing the ball, leads to a three. And now Van Hook missing again down low. Coming up short from under the basket. And again, the rebound, one and done. Niners give it up. Spies, triple drive right to the bucket, shot blocked. They want a goal, Teddy, but no whistle. Niners might have got away with one right there, and a technical foul has been called 
on Newberry. Looks like on Mason Spees, but I'll tell you what, he uh, gets a beef. He does, and the officials missed one there. Should have been goaltending. Big break for Charlotte. Now Spees was about to score five points in a row, but now with that technical foul, oh, Boise goes to the free throw line on the other side for the 49ers, and the first shot is good. Eight points now for Braxton O'Boise. It's always a tough call for the officials. And that ball's close. Is it? Does it hit the glass before or not? And oftentimes, uh, it's just a tough judgment call to make. So just one shot on the technical foul, and the Niners get the ball back. Now it's a one-point game, 43-42. Charlotte trails. Davis in the front court, guarded by Burton outside. Crossover dribble. And he gives it up to Oboise. Left wing pulls up mid-range off the rim. No good. Rebound Charlotte. Davis down low. Puts it back up. That's no good. Rebound Copeland. And she grabs it for Newberry. He'll race it up into the front court going from right to left. Left wing back out top to Burton. Now to the right side. A three. Good. Knocking that one down to Step. James Step. And Newberry's come out of the locker room at halftime. And they've heated things up again. 46-42 Wolves on top. This team is not intimidated by Charlotte. Here's a three left wing, good. That's gonna be Adrian White, his first one of the second half, the sixth one he's made tonight. One point game again, Niners trail. And now Burton missing out top, rebound Charlotte. John Davis, left to right, Davis now to White, draws a double team, they get it out top. Washington back to Davis, shot clock at 20, plenty of time. Davis attacks, ball lost, and on the floor picked up by Newberry. And now Stepp will save it under the basket as Hill threw the ball towards the bucket. And uh, Step able to save that one. Now Burton front court back out to Step out top, guarded by Davis. He'll attack, get low, nothing there, gets it back out. Now all the way to the basket is Nielsen, and he's fouled going to the rim, fouled by Andrian White. This Newberry team is just insistent on penetrating the basketball, and two, three, four, even five times the possession. The defense starts to wear down. The longer you do that on a possession, get tired, and there's a breakdown where he gets all the way to the rim. First foul on White, two shots now for Nielsen. First one is good for the left-hander from Denmark. And now Jackson coming in with John Davis going out. Davis playing with three fouls, now goes to the bench. Yeah, too early in the second half for J.D. to pick up that fourth. A good substitution there by Coach Price. And the second foul shot is no good, and a foul over the back by Burton going after the rebound. Now Quinn Jackson, the young freshman with J.D. on the bench, going to have to do a good job selling this team down and run the offense. Niners trailed by a deuce, 47-45. Jackson is going to be fouled by Copeland. Hand check, and the first foul committed tonight by G.J. DJ Copeland, the redshirt sophomore from Kannapolis, went to A.L. Brown High School. And now Andrian White will inbound right in front of us in the front court. Gets it to Van Hook, right back to White, and now White stepped on the sideline trying to put a move going to the basket. Niners commit the turnover, which is going to be their 13th in this ballgame tonight. Three turnovers here early in the second half. We played just about three and a half minutes in the second half. And now a whistle down low. And a foul on Newberry away from the ball. Like a move-in screen, a legal screen there. Niners get the basketball back as they trail by two. It's going to be on Burton, the foul, and that's his third. Now Quinton Jackson with a left-handed dribble brings it across the half-court line. Handoff gets it back, and now the ball is lost out of bounds as Oboise has it knocked away into the Niner bench. Well, the, the style that Newberry plays really forces you to sometimes play out of control. It does, and... I was just going to say I'd still love for Charlotte to insist on getting the ball inside some. We saw it once or twice in the first half just where they did do that and able to get good shots out of that. Van Hook in the paint. Tough shot in traffic. It's no good. Tipped up by Jackson, but it's out of bounds and no good. What happens when you're able to get the ball inside? You force a smaller team to collapse, and that's when you pass it out. Work the ball inside out, you get open shots, and Charlotte unable to really do that and take advantage of some of that size on the interior. That last shot by Van Hook. How many times last year did we see him take a shot that was a lot like that as Washington blocks one out of bounds, but they call a foul on the 49ers, and it's going to be on Washington. But, or is that Van Hook possibly? 
It is Van Hook, his third. How many times, you know, Van Hook under the basket? How do you get that shot off and it would go in? So far tonight, he's had two or three of those that have not fallen. Yeah, he's really good around the interior, making some of those difficult shots, but Charlotte hasn't been able to capitalize, really, on some of those easy attempts. Uh, Van Hook coming out now. Price coming back into the game. Hook out with three fouls. Now it's 48-45, the first free throw for Copeland. Now the second one coming. Copeland has seven points here today, three and four from the foul line. And this one is no good. Rebound Hudson Price, his second rebound tonight. Price under the basket, under duress under there as he gets rid of the ball to Washington. And now Washington in the front court picks his dribble up, finds White, who gets it back out to J.C. Now to old boys, he steps through a double team all the way to the basket, contact and a whistle and a Newberry foul as Oboise, strong to the rim, will go to the free throw line. Out of the timeout, Braxton Oboise is going to go to the free throw line for two shots for Charlotte. The Niners trail by three, 48-45. Still a lot of time left, 15-53 here in the second half. But the first shot is good by Bo, who has nine points. White leads the way with 18 right now. And Lang is the leading scorer for Newberry with 10. They've played 13 players in this game so far. Both foul shots are good. Now it's 48-47. Niners trail by one. Evans brings it up ahead. Throws it over to Satisfield. Here's a drive by Satisfield. Can't get it to go. The rebound, though, by Secor. And now back to Satisfield. Baseline on the right side. Back on top it goes. Ant Moore trying to get low in the lane, trying to work on Price. Tough shot over Price, and it's good. He worked hard for that one. And now it's a three-point lead again for Newberry, who's going to pressure the ball in the backcourt and get a steal off the inbounds. Evans, and he stepped on the sideline. Or maybe the end line. It was right in the corner over there, but either way, one of those lines, he stepped on it. It's going to be Niner basketball. They want Newberry playing with tons of energy and intensity, and Charlotte's going to have to match that right now. They give up an offensive rebound, a second-shot opportunity, and Newberry makes them pay. Niners bring the sophomore John Davis back in the game. And as Davis went, the Niners went a lot last season. And he's the guy that can come in and give the Niners a very quick spark. Davis takes the inbounds. He'll race into the front court, racing by two, and he's going to be fouled as he's hit by Shakur once he got into the paint. Davis has only taken three shots today. He has four points, two of those coming to the foul line. He's one for three from the floor. Charlotte just nine free throws in the game. One of the things they've been selling for a lot is threes. They've been open, but you'd love to see him get to the line a little more. John Davis playing. With Quentin Jackson right now, Davis attacks, gets low. The shot is no good. And the rebound pulled down by Secor for the Newberry Wolves, who lead by three right now. He played five minutes here in the second half. Evans, he's going to pull up for three. Got it, a big three for Evans, who has five points here tonight. The Wolves now lead by six, and now a steal again off the inbound. Secor, basket good, and it's an eight-point lead with 14.50 to go, and Newberry is really believing that they can win this basketball. Now the Niners down eight, put the ball in bounds. And oh, Boise taking a three from the right side. It's around the rim and no good. Boas made some shots today, but none from the three-point line. 0 for 5. Here's a beautifully executed fast break, and Hill gets a layup, and it's a 10-point lead now for Newberry. 57-47, 14, 20 left to play in this ball game. Wow, didn't see this coming right now. And the Niners again turn the ball over. It goes out of bounds. It's going to be last touched, I believe, by John Davis of the 49ers as he and Gibson went after it. And it's going to be Newberry basketball at 14-12 to play in the second half. The Niners trailed by 10. Fifth turnover here the second half. Charlotte has to do a better job protecting the basketball to climb back in this game. Niners one of eight shooting the basketball here in the second half. Copeland at the right elbow gets it to Burton. Burton back outside now to step. Top of the key guarded by Oboise. Over to Hill driving on Price. Bounce pass to Burton. Shot clock at nine. Burton for three. No good. Rebound Quinton Jackson. Good box out. On the left block, Jackson racing down the floor all the way to the basket. Layup good coast to coast for Quinton Jackson to end that run, which was a 9-0 run by Newberry. And now Copeland attacking. He's going to be fouled. I don't think they'll give the continuation with the and one, but John Davis called for the foul. And on John Davis, that's four now, but still 13-36 to play. That's a huge foul for the Niners. We know how important J.D. is to this ball club having to go out with a lot of time left on the clock. 
White coming in to replace him, so Quinton Jackson will go back to the point guard position. Newberry throws it in bounds. In the lane, they get it back outside. Gibson attacks. He got right around Quinton Jackson for a layup. And the lead is 10 again, 59-49. Jackson in the front court, guarded by Gibson. Jackson picks his dribble up, bounce pass, back door, layup, good by Anthony Van Hook. Great pass with the back door cut. 59-51. But Newberry quickly down the floor, and Hill gets free down low for an easy one. And there again, penetration. You give up penetration, force the help, and an easy drop off and layup. Newberry shooting over 50% here in the second half. Here's a missed three by White. Rebound picked up by Newberry. They continue to out-rebound the 49ers here tonight. Burton out top, guarded by Van Hook. Burton dribbles left, picks the dribble up, fires to the corner. Gibson trying to save a bad pass, and it's out of bounds with 12.41 left to play. Spies back in, Evans back in. In fact, five more players back in the game now for Newberry. And for the Niners, they bring Washington in the game, and he's going to replace Quinton Jackson. I don't know how Coach Davis keeps up with those subs, but whatever he calls that last platoon did a heck of a job in there. Oh, Boise coast to coast lamp is good. So oh, Boise attacks the rim off the inbounds and it's 61-53, but they can't keep trading baskets. The Niners need to get some stops at some point as they right now trail by eight. 12 and a half to play. So still plenty of time. Not panic time yet. Mason Spies right of the lane, backs down, gets it back out. Evans for three. He's starting to heat up. He's made his last two. And the lead for the first time is now 11. And the Niners on the inbounds, throw it away. Van Hook looking for Price, and he threw it out of bounds. Coach Price is scrambling a little bit here. We saw that last possession. The Niners go zone for the first time all evening. Insisting on playing man-to-man, -man, but really forced to change it up. But they still give up a three and now turn the ball over. 9 of 17 from 3 tonight is Newberry as a team. That's 53%. Evans has made his last two. Valentine takes a three. That's good. Everything's dropping now. 67-53, Newberry. Wow. Shocking. I'll tell you what. Niners had a tough one last year in their opener against Elon. Down 30, came back in that game, but they lost it in the end. Oh, Boise now scoring again, getting inside. Now it's time for three again. Around the rim twice, it's no good. Tipped up, that's no good. Rebound, Charlotte. Well, that could have been a backbreaker if that one would have dropped. It's 67-55 right now. White to the bucket. He scores as they're really giving him open lane to the basket if the Niners want to take it in the last few times they have. Ten-point game again. And Valentine is fouled out top. Leaving his feet was Washington as he thought Valentine was going to take a three and JC's a big guy, came down on top of Valentine. They're both still down. Now Washington's getting up. Left side attacks on Van Hook, gets low, throws it back out top. Hill for three, no good. Andrian White the rebound. Here come the Niners, down 10. White brings it across the half-court line. Gets a screen out high from Van Hook. Top of the key with the ball, steps back, takes a three off. Off target, no good. Burton the rebound. He's made six threes tonight. But that one missing off of the right side. And not a great offensive possession there. No pass. A quick shot. Copeland goes left. Cut off on the end line. Throws it back out top. Nielsen attacks left off the glass. No good. White the rebound. He has 20 points and five rebounds for Charlotte tonight. Niners trailed by 10. 10 and a half to play. Oh, Boise pulling up, taking a three. That short. He's missed every three tonight. The ball goes out of bounds. Last touch, though, by James Stepp. And it was Albie who forced Stepp, who was going after the ball, to not be able to get it. And Stepp ended up kicking it out of bounds. Another quick shot there, Matt, by the Niners. One pass shot. I know they feel like they have to score quickly. The pace Newberry's playing, down 10. But there's still a lot of time to play in this ball game. They need to be focused more on getting stops defensively. Bo is 0 for 5 from 3 tonight. And you're right, they've taken... 53 shots, 22 of those have been three-pointers that made only six of the 22. Aubie gives it up, and now Van Hook, elbow jumper on the right is no good. Rebound John Davis. Davis baseline right attacks, gets low, lays it in. Nice move by John as he went strong to the basket to make it now 67-59. A lot of the crowd was looking for a foul, too, on Newberry, but didn't get the whistle. Evans gives the ball up. And now losing the dribble is Secor. Niners down eight with the ball in transition. Now a pass by White is knocked away. White, though, stays in the play and gets the ball back. Never gave up on the play, got the ball back. Nice hustle by Andrian White. 
And now a whistle. And it's going to be on Evans. Lost Gerald Evans <laughs> lost his shoe in the process, but kept playing and committed a foul. <laughs> Smart play. <laughs> At those points in the game, pick up his aggressiveness offensively and kind of put the team on his shoulders. Love to see him do that again here tonight, but we keep talking about the defense. They can score, but they've got to get back and get stops defensively to get back in this game. First shot by Davis is good. By the way, Evan stays in the game. Satisfield uh, came in for Valentine. One of the few times a substitution was made by Coach Davis that didn't involve five players. That's right. John Davis makes both foul shots, and now it's a six point game. The Niners. Down double digits a few moments ago. Now it's 67-61 with 9.46 to play. Niners on defense right now. In the paint, tough shot. Foul on the Niners. Ant Moore attacking the paint. And Reed Albee is the Niner that tried to slide with them but was a little bit out of position to commit to the body foul. It's a tough matchup for Reed Albee there. The quicker. Ant Moore with a good penetration to the basket. And more from Mount Pleasant outside of Charleston in South Carolina. And he back rims the first foul shot. Today's game brought to you by Cookout and their fresh, never frozen hamburgers, mouth watering chicken sandwiches, barbecue, and hot dogs. Along with creamery style hand spun milkshakes, they're sure to take care of all your lunch, dinner, and late night cravings. Visit cookout.com for the location near you. Second foul shot is good. Lead is now seven. Niners break the press. They've got numbers. Albee down low, and he scores. Van Hook able to get to a double team and find Albee for the layup. It's a five-point game. 9.27 to go. Evans, right elbow, picks the dribble up, guarded by Oboise. To Spies in the corner. Dribble drive, attack, shot no good. Rebound fought for, still loose. Albee on the floor. He's got a tie-up, and the arrow gives the ball back over to the 49ers. And again, tremendous hustle by the senior Reed Albee. Like a football play there by Reed Albee. Loose ball, fumble on the floor, got down, recovered the basketball, and gained the possession for the Niners. 68 63, Newberry, 9 15 to go. And Newberry again with uh, five substitutions this time. New line coming in. John Davis brings it up ahead for the Niners into the front court. Now to Van Hook out high. One dribble gets it to O'Boise. Bo out top, now to the elbow, spinning cut off. He was double teamed. Now to Davis, shot clock at 14. Game clock now just under nine minutes to play. Niners trail 68-63. Three good by John Davis. It is now a two-point game, 68-66. And John Davis once again has picked up his team and put him right on his shoulders. J.D. just lives for these moments late in the game. Nice three. Now Davis has 11. Newberg has not scored the last three minutes. The Niners down just two. Hill in the paint, one-on-one -on -one with Aubie off the glass. He scores. 70-66. That was a 13-1 run for the Niners before that basket right there by Hill. Four-point Newberry lead, eight minutes to play. Davis attacks to the right side off the glass. Good. He's just taking over. It's a one-man show right now for the sophomore from Upper Marlboro, Maryland. Burton front court left side, picked up by Van Hook. Spinning in the lane, throws it out on the left side. Now Hill again on Aubie in the paint, pass knocked away, and it's out of bounds. Last touch by the 49ers, Andrian White getting his hands in it, knocked that ball out of bounds, but still 17 on the shot clock, and a timeout was double digits not too long ago by Newberry's down to two. Newberry 70, Charlotte 68. Out of the timeout, Spees puts the ball in bounds for the Wolves. Gets it back, he's guarded by Davis outside. Now Evans with it, he's made two big threes here in the second half. And now a traveling violation. Ant Moore taking a pass near the left elbow, and he tried to put a move on, but he dragged his pivot foot before the bounce. And the Niners get it back on the turnover, which is number 18 today for Newberry. Niners can tie with a two. In the front course, John Davis to the free throw line. Davis pulls up, gets the roll, tie game. JD just four points at the half, already up to 15 here now. Spies outside. He'll attack it low on the left side. Kick it back to Moore on the right. Moore to the side of the lane. Shot is no good. John Davis the rebound. He's fouled by Moore from behind. But 7-18 to go. And now the Niners have a lot of momentum on their side with the game now tied. 70 apiece. They wipe out a double-digit lead. The Niners making us a little nervous over here, Matt, but I'll tell you what, uh, I think I mentioned before, I'll say it again, this could end up being a, a, a good game for the Niners to have a, a tough game early on against an opponent like Newberry. 
helps prepare them, humble them a little bit as they go into the season. Had some good scrimmages against Coastal and Wofford coming into this game, but uh, really had their hands full tonight. Still hope to see them come out on top, obviously. And we talked about some of the depth the Niners have this season, but this game is not a great matchup with the big guys, the two seven-footers they haven't played. So this is not really the Niners team they'll be playing all season long. And, of course, you also you've got to some guys still to, uh, to play the Niners this season that haven't played tonight as well. That's an excellent point. Basketball, a game of matchups, and uh, this is a tough matchup. John Davis makes both free throws. The Niners now lead by two, 72 to 70. Now Burton in the lane, gets it back out to Nielsen, top of the key. Dribbles left, hands off, over to Hill. Now to Burton out top, guarded by Quentin Jackson, who's back in the game. And Jackson strips the ball away, but he touched it on the end line out of bounds. With 12 on the shot clock, it stays with the Wolves. Under seven minutes now to play in the game. And now Newberry to inbounds under the basket. They get it into Nielsen. He'll drive on Davis. Now Davis playing with four fouls. He can't really get up all over him. And now Hill's called for a travel as Reed Avi jumped out on him. And Hill shuffles his feet. It's a good call there by the official. A call that up until this season you did not see whistled very often. But I think a correct call. Officials really trying to emphasize that this season. Now the Niners with the ball leading by two. 6.47 to play. In the front court, John Davis, he's feeling hot, three-pointer, he's on fire. Knocking down the triple, J.D.'s put the Niners up by five. Unbelievable, J.D., what a talent. He is just taking over, 20 points in the game now. Burton, jumper, no good. And the rebound to Jackson for the Niners. Jackson into the front court to Van Hook in transition for the layup. Beautiful handoff, right on the run. University. Now the Wolves putting the ball in play. Down seven, 6.17 to go. Evans, a couple of big threes here in the second half, has it out top. Driving on Jackson. Kicks it left to Gibson. Three-pointer, no good. Rebound, tipped and picked up by the Niners. Outlet to Davis. Davis in the front court, goes behind his back. Now skips it left to Jackson. Jackson down low. Van Hook, now to Boise. Right side, takes the three. Good! Bo hits his first three of the season. And the Niners lead by 10. 5.47 to go. Bo last season knocked down 109. Now a senior. It's 80-70 right now. Mason Spees a three. That's no good. Rebound Oboise. Niners want to run. Bo to Davis in transition. Good and a foul. Oh, my. Niners by 12 and an one. Coming for Bo. Actually for John Davis. Now Charlotte's starting to get some stops on the defensive end. Now leads to easy transition buckets, and they are getting out and running. Wow. John Davis. Six of six tonight at the foul line. And now 22 points a game high. And that's how you run a fast break right Vince here, but showing the poise of a, of a upperclassman, really. Just hard to believe he's a sophomore. Now the Niners were down, what was it, 13, I want to say? And the last 6-19, they've outscored Newberry 30-3. to Niners by 13 now. Nielsen out top. Nielsen in the lane, spins, shoots, no good, rebound Avi. Here come the Niners. Oh, Boise, top of the key, splits a double team, gets it back outside. John Davis, deep three, got it. Is there anything he can't do? No. This is impressive. John Davis, unbelievable. 26 for John Davis. Niners by 16. Drive, and Copeland has the ball stripped. It goes out of bounds off the Niners with 4 9 4.50 to play, 19 on the shot clock. The Niners have outscored Newberry 33-3 in the last 6.46. Most of that coming at the hands of John Davis. This guy's on fire. Nielsen, left of the arc, gets it back to the right side. This is Step, guarded by O'Boise, picks his dribble up. Out of the right corner, three good, knocked down by Copeland. And that'll stop the run for the Niners, at least momentarily, 86-73 Charlotte. John Davis, legitimate shot tonight to go for 30. He's at 26 right now. This pass, not a good one. And it's going to be taken away by Newberry and a foul called on Braxton O'Boise trying to steal the ball back. Or was it on No, it's on Newberry. It's going to be on Nielsen. Okay. Nielsen and Bo are going after that loose ball, but it's Nielsen who is called for the foul getting O'Boise. Fortunate break for the Niners. What looked like was going to be a turnover turned into a free throw opportunity. O'Boise at the line. Two shots, first one is good. He has 18 quiet points here tonight. 
It has been quiet. You think about all those open looks he had in the first half, what might have been, but showing how capable he is of putting the ball in the basket. One of six tonight from three, but great free throw shooter. He hasn't missed tonight of the foul line. Niners up 88-73. Nielsen out to Copeland, deep straightaway three, good. He was way behind the line, knocking that one down. So it's 88-76 now. Oh, Boise out top to the free throw line. Now to Davis. Left it goes to Jackson. He's behind the arc. He'll back it out. Now to Boise. 18 to shoot. Bow on the outside. Behind the arc. Pulls up for three. Got it. So now Bo tonight with 21. Three Niners have 20 or more in this ball game. Hill down low. Missed the layup in transition. Here come the Niners. Jake Jackson is fouled by step from behind. The pass was a little behind Quinton. And who went up to go after that one. And uh, step got kind of up under Quinton Jackson. And fortunately, looks like Quinton's all right, but... That's the second time today he's been shaking up. Just getting broken in, young fresh. And at the free throw line out of the timeout here is Quinton Jackson for two shots. The freshman makes the first one. 3.42 to go with Joby Thomas, I'm Ad Suarez. Thanks for joining us here tonight. Niners up 92-76 on Newberry. The uh, Niners started the second half going one for eight from the floor. They've made 16 of the last 20 shots. How about that? Now Quinton Jackson makes both foul shots, and the Niners lead 93-76. Gibson in the front court, out to Spies out top for Newberry. Guarded by Boise, gets him low, and his pass to the corner taken away by Quinton Jackson, and just with that long reach of his, closed down the passing lane and gets a steal. Jackson's done a nice job defensively throughout the evening, really getting his hands in there and causing some problems. Now Jackson goes down the lane, he's fouled as he took on three different Newberry defenders. That'll get him back to the foul line for a couple of shots. Jackson has 12 points in his Niners debut tonight, the freshman from Cary. I want to, again, wish all the veterans active and retired. Very happy Veterans Day today. Thanks for joining us, and we thank you for all your service. Norm dressed in his camo and his aviator suit tonight. Looks good. Tell you what, I echo that sentiment, Matt. I'm just grateful for all the veterans that have done for us and the freedoms we enjoy and uh, the way they've served us. Uh, so happy Veterans Day to all. Jackson does miss the first foul shot. One more coming for the freshman. With 3.16 to play, and this one bouncing around the rim. No good, but who's there for the rebound? It's Reed Hobby. As he crashes the glass and gets the rebound, the Niners get a second chance here. Now the Niners also... How about this, have taken the rebounding edge, 39-37, and they were getting walloped on the boards for about 65% of this ball game tonight. And now a foul down low committed by Gibson of Newberry. That's going to send the Niners back to the foul line, and this time it's going to be Anthony Van Hook with 3.03 to go. Some of that, Matt's just been the intensity. We've seen that ratchet up. We saw Newberry go on that great run and take that large lead. And Charlotte, it took that to, to help them see, hey, we can mess around and lose this game. And the intensity has increased since then. Started to get some stops defensively, turned into easy baskets, and now even the rebounding edge has gone their way. We haven't talked about this tonight. Van Hook makes the first foul shot. Niners by 18 now. But even when they were down, and, and I want to say we don't have the running score here. I, I want to say it was 13. Um, there was a timeout taken by the Niners, and Coach Price, his demeanor has not changed. He wasn't happy with the way they were playing. He got his point across. But uh, stayed very calm. The Niners have made a great, great turnaround here tonight. Here's a block, and now another one as Satisfield twice has the ball swatted from behind the second time by Jackson, and it goes out of bounds. It'll stay with Newberry, but the Niners. It was a clock issue. They were getting sorted out. All right. 20, that's it. 22 put on the shot clock. Now an inbound pass to Ant Moore down low. Finds Spies out of the basket. His shot blocked away by Jackson, but a foul this time by Jackson. And Matt, but you mentioned the demeanor of Coach Price, so even kill. ton of confidence in these guys, and teams pick up off of that. When a coach doesn't panic, uh, they themselves don't panic. And, and, you know, let's be honest, he knows how to press those buttons, and, and he does get frustrated with them at times, but he never loses his patience. He still has tons of confidence in those guys, and, and they really have reacted here in the second half. He truly believes in every single one of them. And Reed Aubrey comes out. The first guy to give him a handshake is Mark Price. Free throw good by Moore. Now it's 95-77. Niners get the ball in play. Davis now to Van Hook. Up it goes to Washington for the dunk. Niners up 20 for the first time tonight. 97-77. 
two and a half to play. Evans bounce pass to Moore down low on the right. Evans gets it back. Right side jumper for three, and it's good. The third triple he's made tonight. It's a 17-point game. Now John Davis all the way to the basket, coast to coast. Another bucket for John Davis. He has 28. Jay, and the Niners lead by 19. Excuse me, man. Jay, just padding the stats now. <laughs> One more for 30. <laughs> One more basket for 30 for J.D. That he left down to the scorer's table. Now Copeland brings it ahead. Copeland to Burton, out of the corner. This is step for three. Off the rim, no good. Rebound Hill down low. Hill in traffic, puts it to the floor, gets it back out. Copeland left side, three, good. Copeland's made a few tonight. This is third three. He's three for three from behind the arc. 99-83, Niners up. Good-looking ball players for Newberry. I'll tell you what, these guys have been very impressive tonight. They'll be a good team in their conference again this season. Coach Davis done a great job with that program through the years. And now on the end line, Quinton Jackson trying to put a move on. He lost the dribble out of bounds. Commits the turnover, which is going to be his fifth one here tonight. Niners have made 17. They'll learn from this. Here's a three missed by Nielsen on the rebound. There's a foul on the 49ers. It's on Lucas Bergong. That's his first foul as a 49er, the 7-1 redshirt freshman. Who's a banger down there? He's going to be a nice addition to this team. Yeah, slim build, but tell you what, plays with a lot of intensity. Practice hard. Sat out last year, but coaching staff really excited about having him step on the floor and contribute this season. A little bit more of a, a true center compared to Bennis, who'd really like to sit outside and shoot some threes. And he can make some threes. But the Niners will need Bennis also and Lucas to be some guys with their back to the basket this year. Eight to shoot for Charlotte. Niners up 99 to 83. Washington down low. Nice pump fake off the glass and in. The Niners have 101 and lead by 18 with 60 seconds to play. The home opener tonight. Here's a drive by Burton. No good on the shot. He saw the big guys coming after him, and now the Niners turn the ball over in transition, looking for Jackson, who leaps the cheerleaders on the end zone. And uh, now with 49.9 seconds left, the uh, Wolves get the ball back. It's going to be a doubleheader sweep tonight. The women won earlier, beating Wisconsin, and the men are going to beat Newberry tonight, both winning their season openers. Now a foul again on the 49ers, sending Newberry back to the foul line. The Niners play Elon, looking for a little payback from last season on Monday night. That'll be in Burlington. And then back here on Thursday to take on East Carolina, another team that beat them last year. So trying to get a little payback next week with both of those schools. I'll tell you what, it'd be nice to go up to Elon and come away with a victory. They uh, came in opening night last year and really made a statement against us. Of course, we were a different ball club the second half of the season. And uh, hopefully even the things that we've seen this evening and the struggles early on, the way the guys have reacted in the second half will carry over to Monday evening. Yeah, at one point in that game against Elon, they led by 30. So Niners did come back, made it interesting at the end, but uh, Elon certainly had that one under control. Well, Niners again turned the ball over. Bergong lost the pass in the lane. Nielsen to Copeland, long, deep three. He's made another one. He hasn't missed from three tonight. 21 seconds to go. It's now 101-88. The Niners will win this ball game, but uh, Newberry's got zero quit in them. Aubie two for the 101. The Niners have put up on the scoreboard tonight. They uh, put it in play. The shot clock is off. The Niners will not attempt a shot here. And the Niners will win this ball game 101 to 88. And 11 and a half minutes ago on the game clock, it didn't look like that would happen. But the Niners ramp things up. And they will win their season opener tonight.